Hello everyone, welcome back. I hope you are having good time. So, couple of times I received requests about writing blogs on the technology topics such as master data management, Activos, Hadoop, microservices, Java, and other. So, uh, after I was busy in working on the videos and that's the reason I did not get a chance to work on my blog and recently I started developing my blog and here is one so this is the blog you can search with drona techno world dot blogspot dot com and you will you will go to, you will take to this screen so this screen has the most of the recent topics and I will keep updating every week so you guys keep watch on this uh, space or particular on this blogger so you will get more updates more frequently with more latest updates in the current technology world if you are interested in particular topic let me know you can mention in the comment section of this blog also you can mention the, in the comment section of my videos so by that will I will create the articles for you guys for for your reference so you don't have to worry about or referring to your textbook so because this I will be compressing the content I will mention what are the required for as a developer as an architect in the given project so let me give one example here so for example assume that I'm working on the informatica MDM so that is master data management so what you have to go you have to once you come on this page that is drona techno world dot blogspot dot com you will come to this home page and you can just select the topic in which you are interested for example if you are interested in active just click on the active so active related topics will be listed here the pages and the posts will be available here now for example if you are new to ActiveOS you need to know what is ActiveOS is and what is its history so you'll get those basic information here and I, I try to make uh, the ad ad additional information with the help of videos so you can you can come and you will see the videos also included in this video in this post so that you can just click this video icon here no need to go to your the video website and uh, it is just embedded in this page so you can uh, read as well as watch the content about this particular topic let me show you about the informatica MDM related topics for example master data management so master data management has the several topics for example what is tokenization process what is match token or how the tokens are generated and the related videos also are included it is not just one video sometimes you need one video sometimes we need more than one video so in this case the the tokenization processes uh, I have included the or the, I have embedded the video also uh, there are some performance issue in the tokenization how to handle that so I give some brief information here as well as I provided the detailed uh, video on that so you no need to search everywhere on the google so just come to this blog and you will see the information if you have any questions or queries you can just click on this edit icon and you can put your comment so i will read i will get those comments and i will work on those and you will respond as soon as possible as like tokenization i also created other topics such as how to handle informatic mdm errors some errors i included what are the best practices while working with the batch jobs you know that in the informatic MDM there are several batch jobs involved so how to uh, handle it better way or what are the best practices so we also have the the batch group creation video if you are interested you can click and watch there and then the recently I added the JMS configuration topic also like how to configure the JMS with a detailed code so you don't have to worry about the what configuration you have to make so all the configurations are I mentioned here so going forward I will also include the Java code so what are the jar files required what is the Java source code so you don't have to worry about how to write the code you have to just copy paste uh, in your development environment I will also try to create the how to set up your Eclipse for the various development activities 
so just give me the topic uh, in which you are interested and I will create the, uh, the articles about that if you notice not only the videos I also included the screenshot which will be helpful for you guys while configuring in the MDM hub definitely we also have the video uh, about yeah, how to configure but along with the screenshot similarly I had a few more topics like how to clean Java cache for Informatica MDM hub Java cache is very uh, tricky error you will get uh, in your MDM uh, in your desktop while accessing MDM hub so how to handle that so details are mentioned here some of the basic videos also we also added another article if you are beginner of the MDM hub then how do you are going to start what are the things required so those are the things I have mentioned here in this article so there are lots of articles or may uh, will have if you are preparing for the interview how to do that so this kind of things also I mentioned in this uh, article so if you are very interested to learn the informatic MDM hub and from where to start I would recommend this article you, you can go through this articles these these are going to give you a lot of information to learn the informatica product features and it is going to also help you to prepare for your interview so this is regarding the informatic mdm let's see about the activos activos is it's like i recently started working on that <coughs> on uh, preparing this post so there are very few articles available but eventually i will add more articles on activos uh, and provisioning tools IDD etc also I am going to add the user exit code uh, not only in just like uh, Java user exit code but if you have any custom jobs I will add those custom jobs source code in these articles um, if you are interested in learning the microservices so I think that the, this is the best uh, thing so microservices I will add the more and more article about the microservices it's a concept how to develop how to use it and how to use for integration so there are a wide range of topics will be involved in the microservices along with that I'm going to add the Hadoop and the other technologies the articles on those topics additionally I added some tools and utility sections so this tools and utility section will be helpful so if there is any interesting tool come in the market which is going to help us for the development purpose that tool information I will add here of uh, there are several plugins like for example <coughs> postman postman is a plugin which can be added in the browser and can be used for testing the microservices other utilities SQL developer or SOAP UI or Eclipse so those are the utilities which are normally used during the development so you will get the more information in the tools and utility sections now this is about the the articles the other thing is if you're if you're looking for the information about all these topics you don't have to go for the topic by topic I would recommend you go by the what are the recently updated you might have, you might read the earlier topic and you you are just interested interested in the latest topic so you will get the latest topic in this drop down like blog detail section you have to just click the the top one which is more recent one you'll see and this is just now we created and uh, we just updated here so this will this section will give this uh, the latest and the all the topic if you are if you're interested in any particular talk you just click there and you'll uh, screen will render very easily now you got the topics how you will get the notification it's very easy you have to just click on this G plus icon it will create it will loop you guys in my Google group so any new topic I create a notification will be sent to you so you don't have to worry about when it will be updated but make sure uh, follow on every week because I will be posting a topic once in a week probably on Saturday or Sunday so I hope you'll enjoy this uh, the technical post and if you have any questions or queries or if you have any review comments like the any correction please feel free to do that your comments your points your opinion is more than welcome 
thank you for watching this video and uh, see you on the next post thank you bye bye